We are starting to see snow early January, our coldest and snowiest month of the year on average. And we are going to have some snow for today. Even over the last few hours, it's taken all morning. You can see on this radar loop here all morning long, but just in the last hour or so, we're starting to see more snow pull farther up to the north. We definitely have some snow showers out to the east as well. They're light for the most part, but we are going to have a couple hours with steady snow and then it fades away. That's really our biggest problem. It just doesn't last very long. And temperatures right now lower to middle 30s. Port Clinton sitting at 36 degrees. We're not going to see a real big bump in the numbers, especially as we bring in the snow. It will then start to it will put a cap on it at least or maybe even pull it down a little bit. Snow showers most likely for the afternoon. That's our best chance. By the late afternoon, early evening, we're already starting to see that snow break apart. Hence why the snowfall totals just aren't going to be that high. Snow could be a nuisance, still could be slippery and slick on the roads, so we want you to be aware of it. But now about half of our viewing area, just to the south of Worcester, all the way to Coshocton, Mount Vernon, and Tuscarawas County, now even Stark seeing some of that activity, just slowly but surely moving to the north and giving us that chance for snow. This is what it looks like at 3 p.m. I think that it will make it to the west before it starts to pull away. So by the time we get to 5, 6 o'clock, we're already starting to see really big holes in the radar with how much snow there's going to be. We'll even have probably only isolated activity by tonight, but we're not done. We get a couple more snow showers for tomorrow. These look a bit lighter, but we will still have some on the radar, making it a little bit slick once again. You just have that wet kind of dreary feel to it. It's not until late on Sunday that we completely dry out and go into Monday where we get a brief break. So all of this to say, most of us can expect similar snowfall totals to what we saw on Wednesday. Less than two inches of snow. This is through tomorrow though. So we could get a little batch, a little blast of snow, and then just gradually add to it throughout tonight and into tomorrow. The smallest totals out to the north and west, expect probably less than one inch there. When we're looking at our highest numbers, and this is true for the system as a whole, farther east, higher totals. So one to three inches, maybe I have that plus sign, maybe a couple of spots into tomorrow that get closer to four inches. So that includes portions of Ashtabula, Trumbull, Portage, and Geauga counties. In comparison to what it's looking like out to the east here, though, about a half a foot, even close to a foot of snow in portions of Pennsylvania, New York, along the east coast here. And we are going to have another system by the beginning of the week. Tuesday, you bring in this monster system. It's gotten a lot of headlines already. Onset, bit of a mix. Then you bring in just widespread rain, gusty winds as well, a couple snow showers in the back end. We're looking at the seven-day forecast one more time before 11 a.m. coming up.